Welcome to Alan's Awesome Keto Kitchen. Hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I had a great day at work. Uh, it was really good. Um, got home, changed into my, uh, my relaxing clothes. Um, and then when I did, I went over and I said, well, I'm gonna grab a snack, a real quick like. So I went up and I grabbed my, my cookie jar and I looked in my cookie jar and it was empty. So I said, holy cow, I can't have that. I'm gonna have to do something about it. So I decided I'm gonna make something really quick and easy. Um, so that, that uh, to satisfy that itch and, and fill up my cookie jar again. So I'm gonna make some uh, no-bake cookies. They're really easy to make. They should take a relatively short amount of time. Um, so here, we'll go right to it and get to it. So we're gonna take, and uh, first we're gonna make it about a quarter cup of butter. I am gonna cut it up a little bit because we're gonna have to melt it. Um, and it helps it quite a bit. If I can cut it up into little smaller chunks to melt. All right, and then after that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in some almond butter. I use almond butter. Um, a lot of people like to use peanut butter. I'm gonna use the almond butter just because I like it better. Um, I think it's a better profile. Um, the fats are better. So, um, so I'm going to use the almond butter. Um, I put in about a half a cup of almond butter into this. You know, you, I really like quick and easy recipes. Um, I don't want stuff that's too difficult. Um, I made a few things that are pretty hard, but um, um, we'll go into some of that maybe later as we we go through this but so i'm going to just take this throw it in the microwave for 30 seconds help heat it up melt it down um i will say so again i use the almond butter and the reason i use the almond butter is because it has a much better profile as far as nutrients than uh, peanut butter peanut butter actually peanuts are not a real nut they're actually a lagoon because they're buried in the ground and they come from a plant they're not from a tree they're not above ground so they're really a lagoon so they're much like a baked bean or a, a lima bean or something of that nature and not so much of a nut um, the peanut butters are pretty high in uh, omega-6s so if you're eating them you want to be careful because omega-6s are not necessarily the best for you whereas the almond butter has a much better profile of omega-3s to omega-6s and a much more healthy fat in it. Uh, So we're going to take this, mix it up a little bit, get it all nice and All right, so once we get this all nice and soft and mixed up, we're actually gonna add in some other things here. Um, so we're gonna start off, I'm gonna add in, um, this is about a quarter of a cup of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa. Then I'm gonna make in, uh, this is about um, a tablespoon of, uh, our, um, this is actually, I'm using monk fruit, so this is actually, so this is about a tablespoon of monk fruit. I'm gonna use in um, one teaspoon, or how about a half a teaspoon, I should say, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. I like vanilla, so I probably would, if I was doing this on my own, I'd probably put in a, a whole one, <laughs> just because I really like the taste of it. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put in some liquid stevia, so about 15 drops or so. that in there and make it nice and sweet um, and then we're going to put some um, some uh, coconut flakes so this is uh, it's, it's a nice taste it makes it really flavorful um, I really like coconuts I'm a big almond joy guy so that I really like them um, I have a recipe to make some almond joy fat bombs I'll show you down the road somewhere um, 
Then I'm going to mix in about three quarters of a cup of uh, pecans. Now again, pecans are really good. Um, they're one of the better nuts, so I'm not going to say they're the best nut, but they're one of the better nuts, so um, some really good. So again, I'm going to incorporate all this, so mix it all up so it's all nice and mixed together. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's all mixed together. So it's all nice corporate. So then all I'm gonna do is just simply take a baking pan and then I'm gonna spoon it out and put it on the baking pan. And you can make them as big or small as you want. Um, just kind of show you as I do it here, like this way. You can see a little better, maybe. I just take them up there and I put them on there and clump them on there. Now this will make about 10 cookies, so. And I use the parchment paper, it makes it easier to clean up afterwards. I'm, you know, I'm all about making it easy, so. Um, so the parchment paper doesn't seem to, the stuff doesn't seem to stick very good to it. So here's what they look like. Um, we're just going to stake them and stick them in the freezer for about a half an hour or so. And then when we take them out, we'll taste test them and we'll talk a little bit about the macros on them. So let's put them in there. And then uh, let's wait about a half hour and we'll be back here in a half hour and we'll see how they taste. Welcome back. It's been a half hour, so let's check on uh, how the cookies are doing. Um, pull them out. We're going to try. So, this is the way they look. You'll see that they come out kind of like that. Um, the chocolate, the peanuts, the, the almond butter, the, uh, uh, the coconut flakes. So they look pretty good. So before we try them, I'm going to ask that if you really like this video, please subscribe. Thumbs up, please. Um, upcoming videos, if you like it, you know, um, we're going to do a, a chicken crusted pizza this weekend. Um, we're talking about uh, steak on the grill as well. Um, we're talking about doing a uh, keto ice cream review. There's four, five, six ice creams out there. Um, we're going to review them and talk about what the ingredients are see how they taste and which ones we like which ones we don't like you know everybody's different but we'll give you our opinion um, i actually have a special guest i think will be joining me for that one um, as well as possibly making some blueberry muffins the blueberry muffins i thought might be a nice mix because of the fact everyone talks about well they're tired of eating eggs and all the time <clears throat> so by making blueberry muffins it incorporates uh, something else into your breakfast that's low carb uh, and, and can be good really good for you um, and then you're going to enjoy them so so with that ado, um, again, here's one. I'm just going to pick up a random one. So I really like the taste of these. So you know, you can taste the tokwa. It's a little bit bitter, but also with it, you can taste the sweetness. Um, so these are pretty, pretty good. Um, I really like these. So.
but you, just, you don't want to sit here and watch me eat one. Um, so here the, here's the breakdown. So one of these cookies is about 220 calories, give or take a few, about 22 grams of fat. There's about five grams of protein. So there's about three net carbs in one of these. Um, so, you know, so not too bad. You know, one, you know, to me, you just eat one of these and it's pretty filling, so you don't need more than that. So just eat one. Um, you do take and put them in a little bag, put them in a refrigerator or in a freezer, whichever you prefer. Um, so they do need to stay cool because of the fact that they're made with the almond butter. Um, or you can use peanut butter, however you like the taste, whatever. Um, that's entirely up to you. Um, again, um, a quick little video in review. Um, hey, tell me what you would like to see else made, suggestions, ideas, comment down below um, what you'd like to see. Um, I'd love to, to, to know what you'll think. Um, I'm going to try to do a day of eating coming up because I had a subscriber that asked me to do a day of eating. So I'm going to show you what my day is like and has helped me lose weight and kind of show you what what it looks like for me. Um, again, have an awesome day and we'll see you next time.